Hi there, Gemini. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 23rd of May. Your ruler, Mercury, has of course been tracking backwards over the last three weeks. As this week begins, it's now in forward motion again. This is something to celebrate for us all, but in your case, Mercury does continue to be in a very muted location. And it's going to require you to still continue to tune in to the more subconscious side of situations, to tune beneath the surface, to not necessarily listen to what the evidence tells you factually, but to listen to your inner voice. However, there is one development this week which is sensational for you in particular. This is when Venus moves out of that muted zone and into your sign on Tuesday. By Thursday, she joins up with the Sun in Gemini, and the two are going to be sparkling brightly together through to the 17th of June. This doesn't happen very often at all. And it's an opportunity, therefore, for you to really show people just how unique you are, what a one-off you can be. This may also coincide with a period where you give yourself a complete makeover in terms of your personal presentation all the creative juices that are within you are going to bubble to the surface in a much more effective way. But there is still the role of Mars and Saturn, which are continuing for most of this week in your sector of relating. In the case of Saturn, it's possible that you will encounter someone this week, and perhaps through your working situation, who is not so impressed by something you're trying to promote or believe in, this person could be a bit of a doubt in Thomas, but you need to keep your sense of purposefulness and self-confidence. Mars is going to retract back into Scorpio at the end of this week, where he will be until the early days of August. And this is your opportunity to take plans and to fine-tune the details. It may seem as if you're having to go back over something that you've experienced before, but with determination and also perspiration added to the natural flair you can bring to all sorts of situations in the weeks to come, there is still a great deal to be gained. However, there is a quarter moon as this week draws to a close, suggesting that you just can't take those relationships, especially with anyone in a professional context, for granted. Someone may block that individuality you're so keen to share because they want you to conform to the expectations they have for you, which perhaps are more traditional. It's more about being orthodox. And that could seem very limiting and frustrating at a time when you really can see the possibilities of breaking free. But I feel that what Mercury will be continuing to help you with is just to check things out to make sure that you do feel safe in any environment that you find yourself and especially around the politics. And that's good because it can just help you to just keep a nose out for any possible opposition that's coming out, coming up, and see you being a little bit cuter from a political viewpoint. But if you do want to sparkle socially and show people just how much personality and charisma you've got, the next month is going to be a wonderful opportunity to shine. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.